There was a movie called Fahrenheit 451. It was filmed in 1966. It was about book burning. Guess what they're doing? Throughout Canada and some of the United States, they're burning books. Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, you know. Anything that they don't approve of, they burn. It's like they want you to forget that about the history of this country, about the history of the world. And then they want to rewrite it. That's their goal. They want to control all information. Anything that is said. They want to play God, basically. They want to say up is down and down is up. That's their goal. They, they want to say, if you think a certain way and it's not approved by the governments of the world, or the one world order government, oh, we must eliminate you. And, oh, by the way, when we eliminate you, you won't exist. Your name will be erased. But guess what? Guess what? If you're a Christian, it'll be in the Lamb's Book of Life, you know. But this is what demonic powers do. Demonic powers, they take over, and they hate God so much, so they hate you. They hate your total existence. That's what they hate. They don't want the light to shine. Because you know why? Because it's the truth. That's why they don't want it to shine. The only thing that they want to shine is their lies. Oh, yeah. It's like someone takes a crap and then they paint it like gold. And they say, here, here's a gold bar. And you're like, no, I just saw you crap out your rear end. And then you took gold paint and then you painted crap. That's what you did. And now you're trying to tell me that's gold. That's not a gold bar. That All that is is gold-painted crap. But that's what their, their goals are. Their goals are to tell you enough lies and wear you down enough till you start to believe it. It's almost like in Alex's Jones uh, book, uh, Prison Planet. They want to transform our mind to think how they want us to think. And you get nothing out of it for submitting to these, these clowns. You really don't. It's very narcissistic. It's a nefarious juggernaut. It really is. The fact is, is they don't care about your existence. They really don't. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about the pain that you go through. They care nothing about you, but yet they say they do. They want, a, they want it both ways. It's like a boa constrictor wrapping itself, coiling itself around you and saying it cares about you as it's squeezing the life, life out of you and getting ready to eat you. That's what they want to do. They want to squeeze the life out of you and say they care about you in the same sentence. Does that make any logical sense? Absolutely not. So you have a blessed day.